always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's a three-day weekend. You're going to love it. And my grandson, Tommy, is running now. Okay, you heard that promo the first day that uh, Tommy's taking him out for a walk. Well, he just sent me a video. He's running now. you got to love life, man. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love. To serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Mark it, boys! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 337. NASDAQ's up 7. S&P's down 17. Gold contract down 450 at 1816 an ounce. We got silver off 21 cents, $22.94 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 75, eighty-three dollars. 87 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading 128.05. The 30 year off a full point plus 11 ticks at 155.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up at 368 ticks, trading 95,157. Euros at 114.17. Yen is at 114.13. The British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, folks, is that this market can't get out of its way right now. Europe coming into the swing low, and bottom line, you had, we come down yesterday with some volume. Today's going to be light volume. That being said, it can't catch price. The spy right now is down one eighty seven, and I expect yeah, it might be down one forty. In the 220. I mean, that's that's the reality coming in here. Um, let's go take a look at the sort of intraday for a second. So intraday, we just try to get up. Let's see. That's good volume too. This yeah, this could this could, this could try to get a little bit higher into the close. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. The NDX is really deep into this bar, folks. Okay, so that says we're going to the bottom of the bar. The the top of this bar that's going into is that's 380. The bottom is 369. Uh, the difference differential inside of the queues is the queues also have volume. We've we've already done 67 million. So what you're going to have here, we'll end up doing probably 80 million. So what you're going to see there is you're going to have a lower low, and you're going to have an expansion of volume from yesterday. That's how it looks. So that's telling me that guess what? We want to go after the swing low. That swing low there is the uh, 369, and of course, that 350 is what I'm looking for on this first leg down. And the thing that's so bizarre, actually, you know, when, we, when we're saying the 350, we're already halfway there. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, 374 we hit today, the high's up here 400. So it's pretty amazing how quick it can actually go. Gold, gold contract out here, trading down 410. Uh, it, that's a sideways move. It's, it's still at the highs up here. That's the bottom line. I uh, done 160,000 contracts. I believe we did about 191 yesterday. Oh, nice. Two, we did 216 pushing it to the high. So bottom line, you're backing down. You get light volume. This thing wants to break this uh, 1833, get up to this uh, 1881 area. And let's go over to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar had a nice breakdown this week. Uh, it's trying to get to higher price once again. Normally what ends up happening is this. When you do a break, and this is a break with conviction, what you're going to get is that you break with conviction, then you're going to go back up and test the breakout area, which is the 95,625. And if that's what we do and then give it up, then now uh, you get a nice ABC structure on the way down. That will bring you down to this 92,278. And 91. We go take a look at the euro. That's just the separate, uh, the exact opposite correlation where the dollar is going. You can see the the euro broke topside yesterday, pulling back today. Euro wants higher price. Notes and bonds. Let's look at this now. This is getting intriguing out here in the note and bond market, no doubt. You got the 10 year down 18 ticks. And we take a look at this 10 year. What you're going to see is you're down on 1.4 million contracts. That's big contract volume, by the way. Uh, last time we were down here, so at 1.5, the top of that is 128. 
12. Yeah, this is going to this is going to this is going to go after the, the swing low. Now, when we come back to work next week, this is where it's going to get really intriguing, folks. Because we have a, an A to B set up, and the A to B is 130.119 to 1.27. So you're talking about what, three and a half points. One th no, four and a half points. That could get you down to one. Yeah, that could get you down to 124. So if we break this low, and we know we're going to have the volume, meaning that we'll have the volume, we'll have the price next week. Bottom line, that's what you better be looking out for. We take a look at the 10-year note right now. It's yielding 1.77. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today is that you get Ford up 10 cents. You get Advanced Micro up 250. Bank of America is down one. Oh, let's go to J.P. Morgan. It's just getting smoked, man. This is, <laughs> when you think things are easy, that's when the market just hands it to you in two seconds, okay? Meaning when I say things are easy, that, listen, the banks, if the rates are going up, the banks should be making money hand over fist. Bottom line is that, yeah, they are, but guess what? Their expense ratio has gone up so dramatically that that's what you're seeing here with down $11.15. And that, what that sets up, by the way, okay, this is going to set up a lower end consolidation at 150 Right now, you're at 157 We put this on a weekly, and on a weekly, it doesn't even look like it's moved. But it, 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 in fact, it's a consolidation that's been going on since March of 2021. And the bottom of this consolidation is that 147. I expect, guess what? That's where you're going to go. That's, that's how this is setting up right now. Um, and I'm sure that a lot of folks uh, got sideswiped on that JP Morgan because the numbers weren't that bad. But the bottom line is that they got to make up, you know, what you're going to have is that when you have trading deals, you have investment banking deals. Um, and then you have the expense ratio, because what's going on in the financial business right now, folks, is that you have each of these banks grabbing their other employees. So they got to turn around and give them monster bonuses just to keep them. That's hitting the bottom line and hitting the bottom line in a big way. The more they gave the employees, of course, the less the stockholders. Fundamentally, that's the way it works. Dow Industrials down 320. NASDAQ up 14. S&P's down 14 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.